Hello, Nick Miller here, again with my video blog. Uh, I've been talking about some different theories and ideas from recently, and I just came across one that is talking about the theory of a Garda. If anybody's ever heard of a Garda, uh, A-G-H-A-R-T-A, -A, the land of advanced races. Uh, this is actually uh, kind of like the journey to the center of the earth, if you know a little bit about Jules Verne. But uh, it's a theory that says there's certain tunnels that lead to the center of the earth, and the center of the earth has a separate sun inside of the earth, which could be the core or something of the earth. Uh, but basically, if you travel over the poles, the North Pole or the South Pole, or travel through these tunnels, some of the tunnels lead from Tibet. Uh, apparently, from Tibet, it goes straight to Shambhala, which is one of the ancient cities, also known as Shangri-La. But uh, apparently, if you go over the poles, either in a boat or by plane, it just magically turns into a new land. It gets warmer, it gets bigger, there's a new sun, there's bigger mountains. Some say the people are even bigger. They might be considered giants, maybe 7, 10, 12 feet tall. Uh, the fruit tastes different. Uh, there are different books and studies that have done it about this but a lot of the information has apparently been suppressed i don't know if this is true or not but i think it's an interesting theory to add to my repertoire so uh this is the this is the theory of agartha which is basically the center of the earth being inhabited by a more ancient more civilized race than humans now why we haven't gone there why we haven't talked to them i don't know any of that yet apparently i don't know if they're there, we must have some sort of communication with them uh, on a government level or some sort of some sort of communication because I don't think they could be there and that close and that smart without uh, communicating with us. Uh, from some of the stuff I read in the article, uh, they mentioned that. They got really nervous whenever we developed nuclear weapons, and they are starting to try and intervene a little bit to make sure we don't destroy the planet that we live on and also the planet they live on. So that's that, Agarda. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.